Oh, God. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 God. Oh. I'll have what she's having. Welcome to our Ukrainian Women and Sex live stream. We thought of no better way to open it up than that classic clip from Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal. Uh, yeah, so let me ask you, Anna. Ooh, you're already <laughs> hot, eh? Is it true? Us Western guys want to know, do Ukrainian women also fake orgasms? Well, Jodu... Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 unfortunately, it happened to a lot of Ukrainian women today, unfortunately. Darn, so you're the same as Western women in that regard. Yes, at least with something, it's the same. We're going to talk about, yes, Fake orgasms. We're going to drill down on that and why. Why specifically Ukrainian women uh, do it. Let me set the stage by saying that uh, Anna has been to a lot of ladies' clubs, yeah, women's clubs. And in women's clubs, they talk about, of course, women's issues. And what I promised you in the teaser to this live stream is that you're going to be able to be kind of like a fly on the wall and get the inside scoop. What? women talk about in Ukraine when they're amongst only women, okay, behind closed doors. <laughs> Anna is going to share with us today these nine burning issues, Ukrainian women and sex. We're going to dive into that, okay. In Ukraine, it's a big problem. I mean, many women, they fake orgasm, it's true. And the main reason of this, I think, uh, she's just afraid to, to, to be a complainer about the quality of sex she has with her partner and she afraid if she will you know share with him he will instead of making changes just find another partner because it's very easy in ukraine it's a big problem a lot of men are che cheating the woman and she's just afraid of all this and that's why it happened a lot so too many beautiful women not enough men mm -hmm. so men have a plethora of choice if she's complaining about sex, he can just find another partner. And that's her big fear. Who is happy, yes, with sex. So she chooses not to communicate about mm -hmm. her dissatisfaction in the bedroom. Yeah. So guys, can you comment, please? Is that similar to Western women, do you think? Or that's totally new to Western women? Okay, your women's clubs. Can you give us an idea? When uh, the topic is sex, what does the attendance look like? How does it compare to other topics? Yeah, I have many different topics, but I found that when we have uh, topics connected to sexual life, attendance three times more than <laughs> normal any other topics. And why is that? I see that uh, many women really they not happy with their sexual life and they want changes, you know, but they it's not in our culture even to talk about this to friends, you know, so they don't know how to share with whom to discuss and it's it's like, you know, private group where Every, everything stay inside and the reason I'm share with you now you know because uh, I, I don't want to go into details you know it's just common knowledge which hopefully will help you to understand you know psychology of Ukrainian woman and uh, you know make your relationship uh, in sex in sexual sphere you know successful because it's big part of successful relationship right is it true uh, Ukrainian, Russian-speaking women don't talk about sex. It's shh, hush, hush about sex. Is it true? Yes, um, it's true. We have many mental blocks about talking on these topics, and it's uh, historical uh, happened to us. I, I want to share with you some story, funny story, uh, that actually set a lot of blocks in many minds of even generation. I can say. Um, in 1986, there is, was a, a tele, teleconference. teleconference, yes, between the uh, um, Soviet Union and the American woman. Goyal was just to introduce them, help, you know, to learn culture each other. So women exchange, it's like women club between two cultures, you know. 
And uh, one of the questions from American woman, she asked, what about sex uh, in Soviet Union? And she said, we have no sex. You know, all start laughed and it was so loud. And then she added, uh, in, instead of that, we have love. But nobody heard this part of her sentence. And uh, from this, uh, her name was uh, Lyudmila Ivanova. She become even famous, you know, <laughs> but nobody, uh, you know, remember this part that we have love, but everybody knows that there is no sex in Soviet Union. <laughs> That's why. Uh, but what she mean by that? It's very intimate, intimate, intimate and yes, private. Talk, yeah. yeah, private. Uh, you can even not with every partner you can discuss it. You know, it's not like uh, you know public topic we can easily share with. And also my friend, uh, she was uh, 15 years old uh, from my small city. She went to America for three months when she was 15. And uh, she, when she comes back, she say, Anya, oh my God, I can't believe they all talk about sex so easy, like it's in the air, you know? I was in shock about this because in our culture, it's like we, we was not ready at 15 years old, you know, <laughs> be so open to this. She was a commoner, but after she said this, she become literally famous in the uh, the whole Soviet Union from this yeah. one uh, statement of hers. Um, but what was also interesting, and I thought uh, we'd highlight, in 1986 to date, 30, uh, 36 years have passed, but listen to what was said in 1986. American women said, how do you guys, uh, you know, get equality of salary with your men in Soviet Union? You know, that was a topic. Uh, that was an issue. Has anything changed? Has it gotten worse, guys? Please write in comments. Has this gotten worse or better in 34 years? The other thing that was uh, that was noticed by the Soviet ladies is that they were shocked by how the American women didn't wear makeup and didn't present themselves very well, didn't have on nice clothes. Has anything changed in that regard in 34 years? Please write in comments. What do you think? So Anna, do Ukrainian women use sex? like a weapon, a manipulation weapon against their men. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.